Come on, sing it with me on this morning. Come on, church. Hallelujah. You have won. You have won the victory. Mighty God, you are this morning, Jesus. Hallelujah. You won it all. You have won it all for me. Death couldn't hold you. Death could not hold you down. You are the risen king. You are the risen king. You see it. You see it in majesty. Mighty God, you are this morning. You are the risen king. Come on, sing it with me on this morning. Sing it to him. Hallelujah. You have won. You have won the victory. Mighty God, you are Jesus. Hallelujah. You won it all. You have won it all for me. Death could not hold you down. Mighty God. You are the risen King. You see it. You see it in majesty. We love you, Jesus. And you are the risen King. Come on and help me worship Him on this morning. Hallelujah. You have won. You have won the victory. We thank you for your presence this morning. Hallelujah. Mighty God, you have won it all for me. Come on. Death could not hold you down. My God, you came out the grave. You are the risen King. You see it. You see it in majesty. Glory to God. You are the risen King. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ on this morning, as we are about to go into the Word of God, minister to your people, bring life to them, bring strength, bring encouragement, bring peace. Draw them into a deeper relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Have your way in their lives, God. Bless them on this morning. Let them know that you are there. Let them feel your presence, oh God. As you promised, you'll never leave us nor forsake us, but you promise to be with us even unto the end. In Jesus' name we pray. Someone say a good amen right there. Good morning to you, my precious brothers and sisters. How are you wonderful people of God doing on this morning? Now on this morning, what I want to talk about is your prayer answered. Your prayer answered. God's interested in what you have to say. And I want to take you right into the book of Luke chapter 18, beginning at verse 1. And Jesus spoke a parable unto them to this end that men, ought always to pray and not to faint. The word faint right there means not to give up. Are you hearing me? Men ought always to pray and not to faint. Never give up. Never stop praying. Never stop believing God. Never stop trusting. Never stop taking him at his word. Are you hearing me? Now watch he used this story to drive the point home, saying there was in a city a judge which feared not God, neither regarded man. And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of my adversary. And he would not for a while, but afterward. Glory to God. I love that afterward. This judge just ignored this woman for a while, but afterward, Jesus said, This man said within himself, even though I fear not God, neither do I regard man, yet, I love this verse 5, because this is a big hint to us, a big clue, yet because this widow troubleth me, 
I will avenge her less by her continual coming. She weary me. That's the key right there to answered prayer. It's by your continual coming. It's not screaming at God one time and calling it done. You understand what I'm saying? It's going to God in prayer on a consistent basis, pouring your heart out to him. Are you listening to me? Praying until you get the answer. So this unjust judge said, even though I don't fear God, nor regard man, yet because this widow troubles me, I will avenge. I got to answer her prayer, lest by her continual coming, she just flat wear me out. I cannot ignore this woman for another day, for another minute, for another second. I better answer her prayer. And Jesus said, did you hear what the unjust judge said? And shall not God, oh, I love this part. And shall not God avenge his own elect or chosen, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them. I love, I love verse eight. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. We, we're talking about your prayer answered. And that's the key to your prayer being answered. Because Jesus said it in Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. He said, ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and the door shall be opened. And he said in verse 8, for everyone who asketh. You see, asketh right there means to keep on coming. Keep on coming and everyone who seeketh, findeth. To him that knocketh the door shall be open. So it's that continual coming that gets the prayer answered. Are you listening to me? You got to keep on coming. You cannot become weak. Don't get worn out. Don't give up. Don't act like God ain't listening. Jesus said, wait a minute, man. This man is unjust. Doesn't fear God, nor regard the personality of man. And yet, because this widow came continually, even the unjust judge said, man, I got to do something for this woman. And Jesus said, did you hear what the unjust judge said? And then he switches it over to God. And shall not God, who is righteous, who is our father. He is our God. He loves us so much. He came and died on Calvary cross. First Corinthians said, if God sent Jesus to die for us, wouldn't he through the same Jesus freely give us all things? That's first Corinthians chapter two. So don't give up. I'm here to tell you, your prayer is about to be answered. Hang in there just a little while longer. This widow woman was determined to get this guy's attention. And she did. And the unjust judge answered her prayer. And if an unjust, wicked, evil judge can give a woman her prayer request, give her her request, the desires of her heart, how much more? a loving God who cares about us that says weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Knock and keep on knocking. Ask and keep on asking because your prayer is about to be answered. My God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Come on, sing it with me on this morning. Hallelujah. You have won it all. You have won it all for me. Death could not hold you down, my God. You are the risen King. You see it. You see it in majesty. My God, my God, you are the risen King. Listen, you know I'm singing and I'm preaching and teaching the word on this morning. But I want to give someone an opportunity. I surrender. I want to give someone an opportunity under the sound of my voice this morning to surrender your life to Jesus. The Bible says, what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world? and lose his soul if you've never surrendered your life to Jesus the Holy Ghost is after you this morning he wants you he's calling you he's tugging on the door of your heart this morning 
I want you without any further hesitation, pray this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that you are the Son of God. You died on Calvary Cross for me. And on the third day, God raised you from the dead. Wash me in your blood. Forgive me of my sins. From this day, moving forward, I surrender my life to you, Jesus. Friends, if you just prayed that prayer with me, you are now born again. Your sins are forgiven. The Bible says, if any man be in Christ Jesus, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. And behold, all things have become near. Your sins have been forgiven. I want you to type right below this video. I've just surrendered my life to Jesus. You know, Jesus said, if you be ashamed of me down here on this earth, I'll be ashamed of you when you stand before my Father and the holy angels. It's that simple. For Paul says, with the heart man believes and with the mouth confession is made to salvation. The minute you ask him to forgive you with a sincere heart, believing that Jesus is the Son of God, your sins have been forgiven. I surrender all. Oh, I surrender all. Welcome into the kingdom of God. Oh, I surrender all. All. To be my blessed Savior, I surrender all. Back to the anthem. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mighty God, you have won the victory. Sing it to him on this morning. Hallelujah. You want it all. You have won it all for me. Death could not hold you down. You are the risen King. Mighty God. You seated in majesty. Glory to God. You are the risen King. Come on, sing it with me on this morning. Hallelujah, my God. You have won the victory. Come on, worship with me on this morning. Hallelujah. You have won it all. For me, listen, right now I want to give you an opportunity to sow a seed into the kingdom of God. The word of God declares, when you give, it's coming back to you, my friends. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over shall men give into your bosom. It means that God will cause men to act favorably towards you when you support the work of God, the most important message on this earth. Jesus died and rose again. He is the Savior, the Messiah, the Son of God. You can visit us online right now at seanpinder.net forward slash give. seanpinder.net forward slash give. Or you can give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash seanpinder ministries. paypal.me forward slash seanpinder ministries. You can also mail in your donations. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 117442, Carrollton, Texas 75011 7442. Sing it! Hallelujah! You have won! You have won! And never forget this, me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy, we love you, we care about you, and we are believing God with you for your breakthrough, for your miracle, for your turn around. And I want to give you an opportunity, I want to give you an opportunity 
to go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Subscribe to our channel. That way you will not miss any video. You will not miss any broadcast. We go live every Thursday night and Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And we upload on a daily basis broadcast that will minister to you. Your life will never be the same. God bless you. Bye-bye.